Hello, everyone. This is Jackie, and let's talk real today. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about living out your new normal. As an open heart patient survivor, two years post-op, I have come to realize that, yes, we do have a new normal. And I look at mine as a blessing every single day I walk. Had they not have found my problem, I wouldn't be sitting here sharing anything with you today. Two years ago, I was completely healthy as far as I was concerned. I had a mishap. I was zip lining in Puerto Rico and broke my leg. By breaking my leg, they found out I had a large aneurysm in my aorta, which caused me to have open heart surgery and have a valve replacement not just any valve, it was a St. Jude valve. So it's mechanical and yes, I have to take warfarin, but it's okay because I'm here and I, um, I wanna share with you some things because being on this site with all of you, I'm very happy to have met, interacted and share. You know, we're all facing the same thing in our life right now, and that is a new normal. None of us would have expected it to happen, or maybe you're about to go through open heart surgery, and you really don't know what to expect. See, the thing is that doctors only tell us textbook on what we should expect when we have our surgery. But when we come home, we're really on our own to, to fend for ourselves for the most part. And if you're lucky enough to have somebody that is a good caregiver, you'll make it. I was very lucky. My husband, without him, I couldn't have made this journey by myself. I came home from the hospital and I sat on the sofa for days and I just was depressed in a funk. I didn't even want to put, change my pajamas. I just thought my life was over as I knew it. And I um, came to the realization that I had to adapt. But one thing I want to share with you, all of you, because I've had, I've read all of your blogs and concerns and, and, and the depression that we all go and go through. I read that the heart was never meant to be touched by human hands. And with that being said, it is 99% sure it has been proven that people that have open heart surgery actually have some form of depression. My doctor from the Mayo Clinic here in Jacksonville, Florida, recommended that I get on antidepressants right after my surgery. And I thought, that's crazy, I'm not depressed. But he insisted and he explained to me the situation and how patients are after open heart. Well, of course I listened and I uh, took my meds and six months down the road, I was feeling pretty happy and I really didn't like taking all the medications that I was taking. So I decided not to take it any longer. I was happy. <laughs> Three weeks later, I woke up and I hit the wall emotionally and I knew something was wrong. So I called the office back and they told me never to do that. I was happy because I was on an antidepressant. Getting off it only set me back. I tell you this because I'm not a pill taker and I didn't like taking pills to begin with. And unfortunately, some of us are on pills for the rest of our life. And those are the ones that have mechanical valves and we have to take warfarin. And, you know, as much as we don't like to take these pills, they keep us alive. So I've talked to a few of, and interacted with a couple of you in reference to depression and learning how to live out our new normal. We are different. I feel that we are better because we've made it back. We had a second chance of coming back into this world. And I, I look at it in such a positive way now that I'm um, over that, that part of being afraid. Because I 
I think for the first couple months, I was afraid that my sternum was going to open up. I didn't know how they even glued it back together or whatever that they had to do. So I had a lot of things, and I'm sure you have too, that you're feeling. So I guess my, my whole message for the day is learning how to live out your new normal with a little bit of uh, lightness, happiness, maybe joke or two. I know that I tick all day long with my new um, aorta, uh, no, my valve, my St. Jude valve. I tick like a clock, so I use it to my benefit. People hear me ticking all the time, and, and I always sometimes pretend that I don't hear what they hear. you got to make light. If we didn't tick, <laughs> the opposite of that would be we're not here. We all uh, get through it and we all move on in our own time. But realize you're not alone. I love this group, I love all of you, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. And I will be sharing more with you. So as I sign off today, this is Jackie, and I will talk to you real soon. Have a great day.